Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm feeling energized this morning. It is a Saturday morning. The sun isn't shining, it's actually very cloudy outside. But I'm here and I'm filming a vinyasa flow class for back bends. So we've got lots of yummy stretches, lots of heart opening poses that are gonna leave you feeling energized and ready to take on the world. So grab your mat, grab some water and we will get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. To subscribe to stay updated i post out three new yoga flows every week okay guys thank you okay my lovelies we're gonna start our class in our child's pose so if you just come all the way down at the end of your mat and we'll just start by taking some nice deep breaths in our child's pose just allowing our awareness to turn away from the external world and to find the physical body to find the flow of breath and to find the present moment. With every exhale, just relaxing into the mat. Just noticing how your body is feeling today. And with this awareness focused inwards, set an intention to keep it here as we move through this practice. So this becomes not just a stretch class, it becomes a practice of presence, practice of being in the now, and that is our practice of yoga. Keeping your hands and your knees where they are on an inhale, we're just gonna draw forward. Belly dropping down to the mat as you draw the shoulder blades down the back, lift the chin and we're inhaling, finding that opening through the back. And then exhale, just rounding back down towards the heels. Inhale, draw forward, belly drops, chest opens. And exhale, rounding down. Inhale, drawing forward, belly drops, chest opens, gaze lift. last one exhale rounding back down to the heels inhale slowly draw all the way forward into your tabletop position so drawing your knees underneath the hips hands underneath the shoulders inhale belly drops down again chest opens gaze lifts and exhale to round through the spine pressing into the upper back we're gonna do that two more times inhale allowing that flow of breath to move you exhale to round inhale last time exhale and coming into neutral spine keeping the knees stacked over the hips extend the arms forward Staying straight through the elbows as you exhale your forehead to the mat for our puppy pose or you lift the chin or you lift the forehead and you drop the chin and the chest down towards the mat. Take some nice deep breaths here just allowing the upper body to melt down with every exhale. Finding one more breath here. And slowly walking those hands in. Releasing by rounding through the spine and your tabletop again, just pressing into the upper back. Slowly from here, coming up to kneeling. We're gonna do our camel pose. So I'm gonna give you some different variations. We're gonna start by just drawing the palms to the lower back, to the sacrum. Drawing your shoulder blades down the back to lift the chest, squeezing the elbows behind you. Chin's gonna stay tucked to the chest. And you can tuck your toes underneath if you want to come back and grab the heels. Just see how you feel. 
drawing in an inhale and as you exhale slowly starting to lean back you can keep your chin tucked towards your chest if you feel like you want to drop your chin back then you can you have an option to reach down and find your ankles now you can do this with your toes tucked underneath or you can release the tops of the feet and come into your full camel pose so listen to your body here come out of this pose if this is too much or stay lifted just with the hands on the back, opening up through the chest. Good, you've got three breaths here. And then slowly coming out of this pose, if you're in your full camel pose, one hand at a time coming to the sacrum. Slowly coming up on that inhale. Head lifts, I'm sorry, I think my voice goes a bit weird when I go into that pose. And exhale, just round them all the way down into Balasana with the arms either side of the body. Take a little rock if you need to from side to side, just releasing into that lower back. You want to be super, super mindful in all of these back bends. And then slowly from here, fingertips coming underneath the shoulders as you tuck your toes underneath. We're going to roll up into our ragdoll at the end of the mat. Find the elbows, let the crown of the head drop and just have a little sway from side to side. And then slowly, either bringing hands to the shins or fingertips to the mat. Inhale, halfway, draw the shoulder blades down the back, look forward. And exhale, slowly start to walk out into your high plank. Lowering down through Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Take a little pause as you draw the shoulders down from the ears, the hips lifted off the mat. And you exhale back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to find a few breaths in your down dog, tilting the tailbone up towards the sky, sending your energy down through the heels. On an inhale, float shoulders over the wrists, your back into your high plank. Slow and with control, we're gonna lower all the way down to our bellies. So let your elbows brush past your sides as you lower all the way to the mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Draw the legs together, switch the glutes on. As you inhale, peeling the chest, the head off the mat. If you can, the hands are lifting and exhaling to lower. Three more inhale, draw up, pulling the shoulder blades down the back. And exhale. Two more inhale, drawing up. Good, exhale, lowering down. Last one, inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Slowly from here, we're gonna round back into our child's pose, so pressing up through the palms as you sit all the way back to the heels. Knees can open to the side or they can face forward as you hold for a breath. Inhale, coming back through to tabletop, tuck the toes underneath, exhale into your downward facing dog. Sending the gaze between the hands, right foot stepping forwards. Keeping your back knee lifted, you're gonna take your hands, interlace them together, press them to the back of the head as you lift into your chest on an inhale. Trying to find that opening through the upper back and you're also gonna get a nice stretch into that left hip flexor. So lift the gaze, press the elbows back. We're holding for three breaths. Really strong through the legs. See if you can lift that chest up towards the ceiling. And slowly, hands come down as you step back to your plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. 
Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Perfect, well done. We're gonna step our left foot between the hands. Same thing, fingers interlaced together, hands coming to the back of the head as you find your high lunge. Pressing the head into the hands so you lift the chest on an inhale. Pausing here, keep gently pressing the elbows back behind you, embracing any of those wobbles. And try to find that opening through the upper back. Good, you've got two more breaths. And slowly lower the hands down, stepping back to your plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Good, holding your down dog for a breath. And then floating your shoulders over the wrists. Same thing, we're gonna lower all the way down on our exhale to the belly. This time, taking your left forearm across the top of the mat to rest your forehead. Right hand is reaching back for the front of your right ankle. And gently pressing your hips into the mat as you squeeze your right heel in. Take a couple of breaths here, just trying to find that quad stretch. And gently releasing, right forearm comes across, left hand reaches back. Same thing, gently press your hips in towards the mat as you squeeze that left heel in towards the glue. Gently releasing. So depending where you are in your backbend practice, you can keep doing that again so you can alternate between the quad stretch. Otherwise, we're gonna reach back for both ankles. So one at a time, try and reach for the front of the ankles, keeping your knees in line with your hips, flexing into your feet. So for the first two breaths, we're just gonna lift the upper body and see how that feels. So forehead comes down, knees are in line with the hips. As you inhale, the chest and the shoulders lift. And as you exhale, they lower down. One more inhale, upper body lifts. And exhale, it lowers. If that is enough, you're gonna stay with that movement. Otherwise, we're gonna press the feet rather than pulling them away from the body. You're gonna press them up towards the ceiling to see if you can lift your thighs off the mat. So on your next inhale, front of the body lifts and then press the feet up towards the ceiling. So we're taking it in to our bow pose. And then slowly lower on the exhale. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale to lift up, pressing the feet up towards the ceiling, opening up through the chest. You're gonna hold for three breaths if you can. Slowly releasing, hands coming underneath the shoulders as you press back into that child's pose. Again, with the knees either facing forward or the knees out to the side. Finding a couple of breaths here. And slowly drawing forward on your inhale, tuck the toes underneath, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a couple of breaths in your down dog. Tilting the tailbone up towards the sky, see if you can find any more length through the hamstrings. And then send the gaze to the hands, stepping the feet to the top of the mat one at a time. Staying in our forward fold, but this time interlacing the fingers behind the back. As you extend into the arms, drawing the palms of the hands together, letting the crown of the head drop. We're just trying to find a little bit more of an opening through the shoulders. 
we're going to come up to standing from here. So on an inhale, use the strength of your glutes and your hamstrings should draw you up as you draw the shoulder blades down the back and we come into standing cobra. So really lift the chest, lift the chin. And on an exhale, folding all the way back down, arms draw over the back, crown of the head drops. And we're going to do that one more time. So draw up on that inhale. Open up through the chest, lift the gaze without arching into that lower back. Last time, exhale, dropping all the way forward. See if you can find any more opening through the shoulders. See if those arms can draw any more behind you. Head is nice and heavy and relaxed. Holding for two more breaths. And then slowly as you release, just coming down to seated. We're going to make our way down onto our back and we're going to come into our bridge pose and then eventually, hopefully, our wheel pose. So first setting up for our bridge pose by bending into the knees and just reaching down with the hands and see if you can get your middle finger to touch the back of your heel. Good, your feet are in line with your hips. When we come up, we want the knees to be facing forward in line with the toes. We don't want them turning out to the sides. So we're going to do a bridge pose a couple of times. So on an inhale, you're rolling up from the base of the spine, slowly as so you're scooping something off the floor. Good. Staying for a couple of breaths in that bridge pose, the energy is pressing forward. So you're pressing the knees towards the front of the mat. And as you exhale, slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale to draw up again. This time, if you want to take it a little bit further into that bridge pose, you're going to roll the shoulders underneath the body and interlace the fingers together. You might have to do a bit of wiggling around. See if you can get some lift into the chest. Same thing, we're holding for a few breaths. And then slowly release and lower all the way down on the exhale. So there are your two options. If wheel pose is a little bit too much today, find that bridge or find the bridge with the fingers interlaced. On your next inhale, you're rolling up through the spine. It's the same thing, coming into that bridge pose. This time if you want to try coming up into your full wheel, we're going to do it in stages. Inhale, arms come up and overhead. Exhale, palms come either side of the ears. You're going to keep your chin tucked to your chest and you're going to lift to the crown of the head first. Take a little pause here, see how it feels. You may be pressing through the palms on your next breath as you lift up into your full wheel pose. I'm not going to make you hold it for any count. Just listen to your body come down when you need to. We are going to do it two more times. Slowly lowering to the crown of the head when you come down. Gently draw the chin to the chest. And then I like to just bring the hands to the belly and just let the knees rock from side to side. You'll find that the next two times, if you do it, are going to feel much easier. The first one is always the hardest. It's the same thing again. Setting up in that bridge pose, make sure your fingertips can touch the back of the heels. Inhale, slowly start to peel the spine off the mat as you lift into your bridge. Arms coming up and overhead. Exhale, hands coming either side of the ears. Chin stays tucked to the chest as you lift to the crown of the head. Little pause here. And maybe you're pressing up into that wheel pose. There's so many different variations you can do here if you want to. You can straighten out the legs, trying to press the chest forward. Maybe you want to lift a leg. It's very hard to talk here. <laughs> well done, slowly coming down out of this second wheel pose. Crown of the head, gently. Chin draws to the chest, slowly lower all the way down. Hands to the belly, let the knees rock from side to side. Okay, we're going to do one more. So this will be the best one. 
So setting up in that bridge pose. Inhale, slowly start to roll up from the base of the spine. Remember you can hold it here or interlace the fingers. Arms flow up and overhead. Exhale, hands draw either side of the ears, pressing through the palms, lift to the crown of the head first. From here, see if you can press through the palms, lifting up into our last wheel pose. So hopefully this feels a little better. Come down whenever you need to. We're gonna hold for three breaths if you can. So from here, you're gonna hug the knees in. We'll find a nice little neutralizer for the spine. So we'll finish with our happy baby pose, which I love to do after our wheel pose. So reaching down, finding the outsides of the feet, holding here or sending those feet over the tops of the knees. And it'll probably feel quite nice on your back to just take a little rock from side to side. Just allowing the energy in the body to start to settle. I'm going to take a few breaths in a more relaxed yin pose. So just bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop down. If you feel any twinging in your lower back here, which is quite normal after doing some deep back bends, then you can just bring the knees back together and it'll help to keep your tailbone tucked underneath. If this feels comfortable, just let the hands rest to the belly, we're gonna let the body download the benefits of those back bends. So knowing that not just your physical body benefits, but also the energetic and the spiritual body. So I just want you to stay here and take some nice deep abdominal breaths. Relaxing into every exhale. Keeping your breath the only thought that's in the mind. As we close this practice with a little meditation. Keeping your breath the only thought that's in the mind. Now slowly just starting to bring the knees back together one at a time. Just let them rock from side to side slowly. You can let them rock all the way or just partly. Maybe hug the knees in if that feels good. And we're gently gonna make our way back to seated. Bringing the hands to the heart center. Just drawing in a nice long inhale. Relaxing into your exhale. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking this time out, dedicating it to not just the physical body, but also to the mind. Bow the head to the heart. Namaste.